Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. So I am showing you my son's curl pattern. This is his four month old wash hair day routine. The back of his scalp, I was just quickly just showing you. Um, of course he has his hair falling out, but we're gonna go ahead and get that growing back. I am using the Dove conditioner. All products will be listed in the description. They are all on Amazon. And no, this is not a collaboration or paid video. This is all my honest opinion and my money that was spent. So I start off using a conditioner because I will be using a shampoo as you will see um, later on the video, which will strip his hair. But however, it is necessary because he has cradle scalp. So we are going to make sure that we first start out with that conditioner to bring some moisture in his hair and then go ahead and use the shampoo. This shampoo also was recommended by his pediatrician, so that's the shampoo that I am using. I do see other people using other types of cradle scalp um, shampoo. You all do you, whatever works best for you. As of now, I do like this shampoo because it does get his scalp clean. Can't you just tell he is such a happy baby? Oh, I love him so much. He just gives me so much kisses, so much joy. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe just because he is so cute. <laughs> and make sure you like the video as well. Comment down below if you have any questions as well. So this is the shampoo, the Selsun Blue. This is how much I am using to place on his hair. I like to use the shampoo like in the palm of my hands and then kind of just, you know, move my fingers around the palm of my hands and rub it onto his scalp. Make sure when you're washing your hair, anyone else's hair that you are using just the, the finger like tips of your hand do not scratch at all because that can lead to damaging the scalp. So I'm just rubbing throughout his hair. Mainly the front part of his head is where I see like cradle scalp issues. He's had cradle scalp issues earlier on. Um, I wanna say like maybe within the first month, uh, we you know kind of had an issue or challenge with that did go away and I do see that it has come back a little bit. So I am gonna go ahead and make sure that I get this under control now. I did wash his hair for a good two to three minutes, again, focusing on the front part of his hair. This is how I wash his hair. There may be other ways, but I just like to make sure that I'm getting all the shampoo and conditioner out of his hair. This is what his curl pattern looks like once the water has hit it. He has such cute curls. Now I'm going back in with the conditioner, again, just going, placing it on the tips of my fingers and working that product through his hair. This whole time, if you have not, or if you cannot tell, he is just smiling and laughing or singing and just, you know, just loving it on each other. So here I'm using the comb. I'm just lifting up the hair at first. I want to get a gist of what his scalp is looking like. I'm not going to just wreck it from root to tip. Um, I will go ahead once it releases. I will go then and, you know, finish combing. I didn't notice that there was a knot in one of the areas of his hair. So I just left it there because I was going to later just finger comb it or finger detangle it. For the hair that is missing on the in the back, most parents, you all know, that's how it goes when it comes down to your babies. However, for those who don't know, anytime you have a baby who is constantly moving their head left to right through their, throughout their sleep or just on their back, you know, playtime, the hair tends to fall out. I do have him sleeping on a satin sheet. Um, however, he's not always on a satin sheet when it comes down to playtime. So again, it tends to come out. This is normal, however, just gonna throw that out there. His hair will grow back. Mm -hmm. 
you see on the side i used also the shea moisture i didn't use it in this video but that is another baby product that i use on his hair as well the conditioner is dove um conditioner for babies as well so now i'm just coming placing him on the bed so i can pat dry his head so that i can get him ready for moisturizing and sealing with an oil the moisturizer will be in the description I will also show it here on the screen. Also, the um, oil that I'm using or like to use on his hair also will be on the screen and in the description as well. So here you are. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's very moisturizing. It has rice water also in it. So it helps with um, the regrowth of the hair. Definitely recommend this for your hair, ladies, gentlemen, also for your baby's hair because I use it on my edges um, and just throughout my hair. I use it on my son's hair who's 16. <laughs> and then I also now I use it also on my little boy, my little baby. Again, I like to pick the curls up and place that moisture on there. I just feel like that is a better way of getting the moisture thoroughly on each curl moisturizing them as best as possible here i am just doing scratching the um getting the comb to scratch his scalp basically very gently but i'm just looking to see because at this point in time i saw that his scalp was a little white um and that's when i noticed that okay he got cradle scalp we need to go back and you know rinse his hair out after putting the moisturizer on I'm just showing you his cradle scalp, which is dandruff. And it doesn't hurt. Like I said, I do it very gently. Just, you know, it's kind of just like a quick little rub of the comb and then, you know, lifting it up with the comb. So this is where I'm just kind of trying to show you what it looks like. It's not that bad, but this is kind of just the little white pieces is what was um, lifted from off of his scalp. But again, it's not that bad at all. When you do have a child that has cradle scalp, you want to make sure you stay up on it. You want to wash their hair at least two to three times a week, depending on how bad it is for him. Now that I see that it has come back, I will be washing his hair at least twice a week. Um, I, again, would not be using the comb as much because that does tend to pull out the hair, which leads to alopecia with babies. So again, I would be using my hand as much as possible and just kind of scratching the scalp to um, uplift that dandruff. So I did go ahead and rinse his hair again after seeing the cradle scalp just with some water. Um, and then I'm just showing you all what it looks like. I did moisturize his hair again with the um, moisturizer. So I'm just checking the back of his head, just checking around, making sure that there is no more dandruff around his head. Next, I'm using the jojoba oil organic. Got this off of Amazon, like I said. This is how much I use. And again, I like to place it in the palms of my hand and then use it on my fingers basically to lift up the curls and to work it through that way. I do make sure that I also focus on his scalp with this because that is good for his skin as well as his scalp. He is such a busybody. He's four months, he's teething. Such a joy. Oh, I'm so in love with this little boy. So that is it, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed my four-month-old hair wash routine. 
make sure you like the video comment down below and also subscribe if you're not already talk to y'all later bye dolls